My day-to-day -day life between the Coast Guard and MMA, there are a lot of parallels. Both require an extreme amount of discipline, always being, you know, ready to go or always ready, as we say in the Coast Guard. Same thing in the gym, always got to be ready to go, ready to train. My name is BM2 Campisi. I am the Operations Petty Officer at AIDS Navigation Team New Orleans, and I'm also an active MMA fighter under Lawrence Patrick at Gold Dragon Mixed Martial Arts out of Picayune, Mississippi. Our main mission at the Ant is specifically pertaining to the Mississippi River. I would describe AIDS Navigation as basically like, you know how when you're driving on the road, you have your road signs and uh, your traffic lights. You have your channel marker buoys uh, to see what side of the channel you need to be on and if you're in safe water or not. The physically demanding side is when you have to get out there with your chainsaws and your brush cutters. Like if you've ever seen like the show, uh, like Loggers. I'm gonna scratch that again. Uh, run it back, clip that, cut. I would say the, the more physically demanding part of Aton would be uh, the brush cutting side. However, like if you do, I'd say three or four mooring inspections and reliefs on buoys, you're definitely gonna get your days working for that as well. Uh, the work I put into the gym, uh, it's if you'd asked me or told me two years ago the stuff I would be doing and the the amount of training I'd be putting in, I would tell you you're out of your mind. Like the average guy or girl can come into our gym and you know give 50, 60 percent and. When you're on fight team and you say you want to be a fighter, it is not the case anymore. The whole time you're in there, it's all gas, no breaks. We're in the last two minutes, let's go. Two minutes, you've done a fight camp, okay? Let's go. Up, 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 Just like the Coast Guard, uh, sacrifice is a big part of MMA. I would say that's probably the like the closest correlation between the two. You're, you're at a point to where, especially being on fight team and being in camp, to where it's not just about you anymore. You know, it's the same thing with the Coast Guard. Like you get put in a uh, higher position where you have oversight and you know, you're a mentor or a leader. Uh, it's not about you anymore. Um, it's about you and your brothers and your sisters that you go to battle with every day and they hold you to a high standard and you gotta meet that.